Welcome to today's CT Style Express. I'm Natasha Luchenko. It's officially summer and that means outdoor fun like dining al fresco, grilling, picnics. Plus, we've got 4th of July right around the corner. And joining us now with simple and delicious ideas is registered dietitian and chef Abby Gelman. Abby, great to see you. Happy summer. Hi, thanks for having me. I'm happy summer indeed, right? Absolutely. It looks like you have some tasty options there for us. And I want to start with salads. Always a summer hit. Do you have some ideas for us? I do. So I love partnering with Wonderful Company and they have two brands that I'm going to talk about today. The first one is Wonderful Pistachios. So I have two really great salads here that are vegetarian that feature pistachios. So here I have what I'm calling the pistachio summer salad. It's got nectarines in there. It's got some scallions, arugula, feta, a really nice lemon dressing. Um, so you have everything you need in this salad with all the carbs and the protein and healthy fats, everything's in there. And over here, I have made pistachio pesto and we've mixed it with some pasta and I've got some mozzarella in there, some pistachios on top of both of these to add some crunch and I've also some cherry tomatoes in there too. So these are great for picnics, dining outside, inside, bringing for lunch or a light dinner, all, all of the above. Absolutely, I mean, it definitely sure to be a hit uh, at any gathering and I like how this pistachios add a little crunch and texture in there and they can also make good snacks as well. Yes, so one serving of pistachios is six grams of plant-based protein and three grams of fiber, plus those healthy fats. So that trio really helps to fill you up and they've got all these fun flavors. So there's honey roasted, there's a sweet chili and I like to put those together and make like a spicy sweet combo. Ooh. There's salt and vinegar, just the plain ones in the shells, you know, all, all sorts of fun snack ideas there. Yeah, I love regular pistachios. I didn't know about the flavors, so I'll have to check those out. Oh. Definitely uh, check them out. Yeah, and you know, the hot summer days are coming. It's always nice to have something refreshing to cool down. Mm -hmm. What drink options are you loving this season? Sure, so I have Palm Wonderful 100% pomegranate juice, which is a staple in my fridge all the time. So I've made a fun mocktail that I'm calling Summer Breeze. So it's got some club soda, a little bit of lemonade, and a lot of that pomegranate juice in there. And we've garnished it with some citrus and put some pomegranate seeds right in there. So Ooh. super refreshing, easy to make a big picture of it and just have it around. Yeah, that looks delicious. And, you know, I've heard pomegranate juice is good for you. I just don't know why. So could you tell us? Yeah, absolutely. So there was actually an in vitro study done in UCLA that showed that there is more antioxidant capacity in one serving of the 100% pomegranate juice compared to red wine, grape juice, and green tea, which also have a ton of antioxidants. So just get your full antioxidants in with your pomegranate juice every day. Healthy and tasty, that is a combination I like. Mm -hmm. And now we yes, can't forget dessert, sure. uh, Chef. So no. at our next summer cookout, <laughs> what is your recommendation here? Ooh, and this is one of my favorites. It's so easy. So they are dark chocolate pomegranate bites. So yeah. all I did was melt some dark chocolate and kind of mix them in layers with pomegranate seeds and put a little sea salt on top. Pop them in the fridge for about 30 minutes. You're done, good to go. And they're in these little, I did them in mini muffin tins so that they can kind of shape nicely. Right, I love that and easy to make uh, for, for any mm -hmm. gathering we're having. You know, there's a lot before the dessert to focus on, so it's nice that that part's easy. Abby, thank you. Fantastic yeah. advice as always. Sure, thanks for having me. All right, and if you'd like to learn more about Abby's culinary adventures and get more recipe inspiration, you can visit her website at chefabbygelman.com. I'm Natasha Lubchenko with today's CT Style Express, and we'll see you right back here tomorrow.